you ever have one of those days when you find yourself asking, what's it all about? You feel great at the time and everything's going real well, but there's a part of you that thinks something bad is just around the corner. When Gilbert destroyed the one picture Robin had of his father, he was so angry he knew he would have to face the knight in battle. No one would take away the memories of his dear father. Gilbert would have to pay. To cheer Robin up, Will took him to the river to do one of the things he liked best, fishing. Robin! Hmm? I think you got a bite there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Robin, are you sure you're really concentrating on the fishing? Well, sure I am, Will. I'm in complete control. Whoa! Hmm? Hey, Winifred! Huh? Jenny, what on earth do you think you're doing? Now come down out of that tree immediately! <laughs> Don't worry about me. I can see for miles up here. Come on, Fang! <laughs> Thank you, Fang. Ooh, we've been picking berries. They look good. Why don't you taste one? You see, just because the squirrel likes those things, it doesn't mean to say we can eat them. I guess not. Oh. Hey, Winifred, these mushrooms are great. Mm. Mushrooms? Mm hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Robin just hasn't been himself lately. I have to find out what it is that's bothering him. Don't you think, Winnie? <laughs> hey, Robin, you okay? You got something on your mind? <laughs> Will, I've got to go back to our castle. Huh? What if Baron Owen's soldiers find you there? They'll kill you! Yeah, I know. I have to go, Will. I have to see if anything's left. See it with my own eyes. Hmm. Hmm. Well, don't tell the girls about it. They also want to come along with you. The squirrel, too. Imagine that. <laughs> Fangs a lot, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Will. <laughs> Where am I? What happened? Where is this place? It, it seems familiar, but I don't know. Oh, I'm so confused. Yes, I remember. My night. I was going to be attacked by wolves. Oh! 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 And that night, he saved me. I wonder where he is now. Who are you? What do you want? Do not be afraid, my lady. I mean you no harm. It is me. Huh? Oh, my knight. He's so tall and strong and handsome. Oh. Why does he stare at me so? He saved my life, but there's something about his eyes. Good Sir Knight, I would like to thank you for saving my life yesterday. Here. Sweet lady, it was my duty. But what was a lady of such obvious nobility doing in such a wild and dangerous place all alone? There is no need for you to answer that. After all, everybody has secrets they'd rather keep from others. <gasps> <laughs> Including myself. I 
can fly. I can fly just like a little bird. Oh, timber! Well, at least my bow isn't damaged. Mm. I know what your family name is. It's Huntingdon, isn't it, Robin? Huh? How do you know my name? <laughs> I know everything. I'm the wisest man in Sherwood Forest. I could tell you things about the place no other man alive could tell you. Like that bow you've got. It has a special kind of magic attached to it. This bow has magic powers? Mm-hmm. Any man with evil thoughts, corrupted soul, or impure heart will never, never, by God's will, manage to draw this bow. What? Bartok, what are you talking about? It's true. No one of impure heart, only men of the strongest virtue, can use this bow, my friend. I never knew that. Well, no one can know everything except me, of course. <laughs> hmm, what's this? Well, with a heart as pure and virtuous as yours, Friar Tuck, I was hoping that you'd be able to show me how to do it, unless you're not strong enough, Friar. Ooh. I'll do it. Let me have that bow here. Now I'll show you what a simple friar can do, Robin. Now. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Hey, how am I doing? <laughs> okay, okay, you proved your point. There, finished. Aren't they lovely? Huh? It's just a little token to thank you for all your help. I hope you like it. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Flowers? Oh, forgive me. Perhaps flowers aren't the proper thing to give a knight. I just wanted to say thank you. You are very kind. You'll take them? Yes, I will gladly take them. Oh, oh, you've made me so happy. <laughs> Oh. Thank you. I will cherish them. I must go now. Oh. Where will you go? What will you do? I will hunt. I was hunting in the forest when I found you. And I let my prey escape. So now I must resume the hunt. He is near. I can sense it in the air. And I will find him. Wherever he may be, he will not escape again. And so I must leave you alone, as I am. Farewell. Will I see you again? I cannot let him go away. Wait, take me with you. No, I cannot. I have to go alone. Goodbye. Huh? Oh. God keep you safe and grant that I may see you again. Goodbye. No! Oh. Oh. Everything's gone. Our home completely destroyed. I'll never forget that night. Oh. I promise you, Father, the Huntington family will survive. I'll make them pay for this. He came this way, I know it. Wait, what have we here? This looks like, yes, it's one of his. I'd know that arrowhead anywhere. The same kind of arrow that scarred my cheek. If only I 
could find something. Something to remind me. Father! This portrait. Is that all I have left of you? My father. Come on, Robin. Up you go now. Hold on. Pull back with all your strength. That's it. Keep the other arm straight. Good. Tell old you not to do it. You have to learn your lesson. Now stop crying. Come on. I'll show you how to ride, okay? Come on. Hey, yeah! Come on! Let's go! They can destroy our home, but they can't destroy our name! <laughs> huh? Who is it? Who's there? Come on out! Robin Huntington. Oh, Gilbert. So, we meet again, my young friend. I think we have unfinished business. How could I ever forget? Uh -huh. Gilbert. Are you looking for me, Huntington, or your father? Ha! Come on, boy! <laughs> Must be brave! This is it, Huntington. This is where you die! Again, Huntington. Nobody cuts me and lives. I'm going to kill you, Robin. But before I do, I will give you a chance to see if you can kill me. Gilbert! Well, here I am, boy. Just draw your bow, if you can. All right! You got lucky once, the result of which I will carry with me forever. You will pay for that. All right. We'll see who's going to pay for what. Come on, Bo. Don't let me down now. Now if I just get him in my sights. Now! Ah! <laughs> Miss me, boy. Now it's my turn. Prepare to oh. die. <laughs> there is no way out for you, Huntington. Nowhere to hide. <laughs> Get ready to join your father. <laughs> hmm. The storm's really gonna break soon. I guess I'd better go and find Robin before it does. You seem to be without a weapon, Huntington. Well, what are you waiting for? Do it! Take it! What? Hmm. Well, pick it up. Huh? I am no coward, and I will not fight against an unarmed man. Pick it up. And may God grant me the power to strike you down. That is... Unless you are afraid of me, Robin. I'm no coward! Then pick it up! Ha! This time, to the death! They stood facing each other in the ruins of the castle. Swords raised, eyes fixed on each other. But nobody would take the first move. Robin felt Gilbert's eyes boring into him. He could feel his own heart beating loudly in his ears, his muscles steeling themselves, ready to spring into action. His grip on his sword tightened. 
This was it. Gilbert, turn around and face me, coward. You're no match for me. Go now. Why, you still can. My code of honor would not allow me to kill a weakling. We'll see about that. Ha! 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 Not bad for a boy. What's the matter, getting heavy? No way! I'm fighting for my family's honor! Got you! Scared, Huntington. And now you will die. Ah! Help! Huh? You lost it round here? No, no. The cross belonged to my mother, and without it, Baron Alwyn will never recognize me as a Lancaster. Oh! Hmm. I have to get it back. It was my mother's most prized possession. <laughs> Ow! 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 The very same weapon that scarred me. Don't touch it! Gilbert, do you hear me? Your father's bow. How ironic that you should die by an arrow that was shot from your father's bow. Yes. <laughs> Say goodbye, Robin. Hmm? I can't draw it. Oh, come on, you stupid bow! Fire tank! Any man with evil thoughts, corrupted soul, or impure heart will never, by God's will, manage to draw this bow. Uh, I can't! Ha! Oh! 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 Trapped like a rat. Well, well. Huh? Ow! I'm not prepared to slay a wounded enemy, but his father.
Father, Father. Gilbert, come back and fight! I will leave you with your humiliation, Robin, but I shall return. As darkness and the rain fell on the ruined castle, Gilbert walked away into the night, leaving Robin all alone, trapped beneath the wooden beams of his former home. He had spared his life, but Robin felt only shame. Shame and anger. And as the rain poured down, he no longer felt the pain in his leg. His only thoughts were of revenge. Revenge against the man who had destroyed Robin's last memento of his father. The same man had saved Marion from the wolves. He was her hero. But Robin didn't know that. To him, Gilbert was an enemy. And when they met again, things would be different. In the next episode of Robin Hood, Maid Marian finds herself being hunted by the ruthless Baron Alwyn. With savage dogs at her throat and breathing hot down her neck, the desperate Marian can only think of happy times she has spent with Robin Hood. They may be the last thought she ever has. Can she escape a savage mauling from the killer dogs? Find out next time.